What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of King Customs and on today's video we are going to be breaking down the motor. Now I did tell you that uh, I might just skip to some clips of me breaking it down not showing you step by step how to break it down and I did get a head start on it. It's on the engine stand right now. Um, I removed the valve cover and some components like the front cover, the timing chain, I already removed um, the water pump, all that little stuff. So right now I'm working on removing the head, which there is a special tool needed. It's a 12 point long socket that's needed to remove this head. Um, I will put that in the description below for y'all, whoever is planning on doing a rebuild like this as well. So uh, let's just get started. Alrighty guys, so all the head bolts are out of this engine, so now it's time to pick up the head and remove it. Alrighty guys, there you go. That was super easy. We got the head off. Um, I'm going to go take a look at the head gasket, and I'll show you guys just now uh, what it looks like. but. It wasn't that big of a deal. Now, before we get into anything else, um, this was the special uh, socket that was needed, the special Allen-ish tool that was needed, uh, 12 point, and I'll leave a link for this in the description below. It was needed to remove these head bolts. And now that that's out and a big part of it's done, what we're gonna do after is flip the entire block over um, there's going to be a ton of cooling because I forgot to drain the block again. So we're going to flip it over, remove the oil pan. Hopefully I do not break any bolts because there were so many rusted bolts in here. Quite a few broke. Thank goodness not on the block yet. Um, but we're going to remove the oil pan now. Some of those oil pan bolts are so rusted to the point that they're non-existent anymore. But when we flip it over, we're going to remove that and get rid of the oil pump and so on and so forth and try to remove the pistons out and then take this off to the machine shop. Another quick note too, also when I was telling you about the engine repair in my last videos, um, one thing I like to do is tag and retain all my bolts. So like for example, I put transmission top, uh, these two bolts in here, or you know, if I'm doing anything engine wise, um, chain tensioner and bolts. Uh, let's see in here we got metal coolant rail that goes to the block with their bolts and in this box right here i throw all the uh coolant sensor and whoo we need a new sensor that's not good just like the cam sensor so yeah in here i throw all the little sensors and their bolts in here damn that sucks we're gonna need a new one of that and um yeah so i like to tag and retain stuff people from trinidad do things a little bit differently than me they throw everything into one box all bolts, everything. They just throw it into a box, and when they're ready to reassemble, they throw everything out in the box and sort out all the bolts. I don't know how the heck they do that, but um, even though I'm from Trinidad, but I, I just, I've never done it like that. I've always done it this way, because to me, it's quicker, and I think it's, instead of looking for something, you have it all right there. So, um, yeah, let's just take a look at this head gasket real quick. Oh, you can see right here, the gasket was about, it's getting close to being blown. It was on its way out, but it's still pretty good. Yeah, so we ended up figuring out what the problem was, where um, where the leak's coming from. So it turns out to be the valve seals in my uh, head. So those valve seals, they wear out and oil bypasses and everything. So instead of just pulling out the head and redoing the valve seals, I might as well redo the entire motor. That way, everything's one and done, and it's gonna, it's gonna all be brand new. It's just gonna be a, basically a brand new zero mile motor back into this vehicle. So stay tuned and let's see what comes up next. Alrighty guys, so now I am removing the oil pan 
from the block. Now, you remember when I told you it was rusted? This is what I'm talking about. Look how ridiculous that all is. That's like, there's nothing there. It's just gone to bits. So I'm carefully trying to figure out a way how my best not to snap it. I sprayed it with some PB Blaster and I let it sit for a little bit. So far, so good. I'm not cracking anything yet. Um, I cracked a few bolts loose and it hasn't broken yet. So wish me luck on those other ones that uh, are, are basically nothing. Hopefully I can get them out. Alrighty guys, so now we finally got off all the bolts. Only one of them I had to break off because it was so rusted. No matter what socket I put on, it just kept rounding and getting smaller and smaller and smaller. It just wasn't working. So I used my chisel, hammer, and I kept hitting it till it broke off. And uh, I guess the machine shop will handle that. And if they can't, then I'll just have to drill it out myself and y'all will see that. So moment of truth. Woo! A lot of rust. So finally the cover is out. And uh, here we go. This is the oil pickup tube in here. We got a crank and then the pistons that we have to remove. And then basically this box block is bare. So yeah guys, once all of that is taken out, such as our crank, the pickup tube, the oil pump, and the pistons, this block is completely bare and it's gonna go to the machine shop along with the head and they're gonna do their part. Now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film that part in the machine shop. Um, I never asked them and I don't know if I really want to do that again because I do have some clips from prior on my avalanche build with the machine shop. Maybe I might try to sneak a clip here and there, but uh, if not, y'all can just watch the avalanche build and I'll put the machine shop episodes up somewhere here or here or in the description below. So stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so the engine is finally finished here. We are down to the bare block. All my parts are organized right over here. So uh, Monday, we're gonna take all of this to the machine shop. We're gonna take the block. We're gonna take the head, the head, and we're gonna take the pan, the crank, and the two cams. I'm not sure if they're gonna need those, but I'm just gonna take as much as I can to cover all my bases with them. So we are gonna definitely try to get it bored up so we can get bigger pistons and, and have them uh, give us new bearings. We're gonna have them order everything through the company. Uh, that way I don't get it wrong. So I'm gonna have everything from the machine shop and we'll just be back to assemble it. So here it is, boom, boom, and here's the car. So alrighty guys, thank you so much for joining in on this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to add, please leave it in the comment section below and I will definitely get to it. I always try to answer every single comment and I don't think I've missed one. Um, but yeah, leave a comment. Also hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm because it helps shoot my channel into different levels. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a great night and I'll see you all later. Peace.